Ah, y'all. Let's do a class. <clears throat> I'm getting sidetracked. There's about every turn now. I guess what they mean by knowledge increasing. All right, so we're going to read the key 207. It says, the key to future linguistics are in the scriptures of light, which are the codes of the luminaries. In these scriptures, every letter causes illumination of the divine to spring forth and creates the passing of a universe within another universe's light and establishes in fields of consciousness, depth, language alignments with the creative mind of the universe who in his goodness renews the creations every day continually and speaks through Luminaries? Let's see what I mean by sidetrack. Look at verse 1. This key of Enoch, key 7 of Paradise Sun Universes, is speaking of the luminaries who work on the seventh ray, bringing the codes of how to use and create life through the divine letters. So hold up now. So you have, <laughs> you have the luminaries that are used in the communication you use like the conduit of the communication of course the communication is coming from our father but it's being rayed through the celestials so the divine letters are the background Kind of reminds me of the breastplate where you had the letters of the progenitors names in Hebrew written in crystals and then it was the light that reflected those letters. So you have this light of the luminaries that's now being reflected off of the letters. But notice this verse down here, down here in about verse 29. So we're talking about this communications that's coming from the luminaries in this same chapter. Verse 29 says, these signals are sent through serial sequences of rapid flashes, yet the original waveform is not changed. It is seeded into the mind of man and is not affected by the retinal image. Hence, it retains the original pattern of color. Talking about the letters, used in the communication through the luminaries. Verse 30 says, just as the lower galactic intelligence can communicate with the various planetary realms of intelligence through thought words heard within your mind, though not received through audible sound, so also the laws of light communicate through pictographs and ideographs fully experienced within your mind yet not subject to any retinal image. So in other words, they're using these pictographs in order to communicate with us. They're using the Hebrew letters to communicate. The signals are being sent. You could think of it as radio communication. Okay, we have a radio, but what's being communicated? What's being communicated, the way I understand here, is the letters. But before we conclude that, let's look at verse 31. It says, however, this is so complex that the letters of the living light must first be seeded into the subconscious during sleep. This is to prepare the spiritual inner vehicles to unify all of the unassimilable geometries of the dark subconscious into a divine letter. This divine letter can hold the attention of the soul while it is sleeping and carefully school the soul to recognize the differences between the divine letters and the archetypical patterns of the subconscious. So the letters are what's being used to program us. In other words, this light is being shined, but the light is shining on the pictographs of the letters within our soul and that's what's actually reprogramming us in our sleep. So you think of it as our soul is what is in need of correction, improvement, um, chiseling. Well, you have the light that is 
this chisel, this energy that is actually used to make the corrections. But just like any tool, it always has to have a cutting head on it that does the actual work. And the cutting head is the letters. You have the energy from the luminaries, so to speak. It's actually light or information, understanding, gnosis, knowledge from the from our father through the luminaries. But if we don't have the proper head on the instrument, the tool, it would just shine as a glare of unfocused light. You could think as if it was in the form of a laser. But once we put the proper head on the tool, then it could actually do the work of chiseling and correcting our spirit and our soul so that we can rise to the next level, go on to the higher mansions, so to speak. That's a long way of saying that the Hebrew letters are necessary. We have to have those if we want to progress, We have if we want to move forward. And we can go on to say that it is the lack of these letters, not having these letters as a part of our life that is causing us to stay in this dark era where we're under the control of the psychochoid, the psychicoid that we learned about in the last video. But anyway, we'll talk about that more in another video. If you got anything out of this one, go ahead and hit the like button. But if you didn't, hit the dislike button. But leave us a comment either way and shalom. Bait, get more, dale, hey, wah, zain, you got it, het, tet, yad, kath, lamed, mem, no, almost through, samek, ayin, hey, zari, kuf, resh, shin, shin, now you know the alphabet. Hallelujah.